Rotorua mother has appeared in court accused of money laundering and theft involving millions of dollars. Kara Haring and her former partner, Leo Gao, left New Zealand two years ago after a $10 million overdraft was loaded onto his Westpac account. She returned two weeks ago. Jessie Peach was in court in Rotorua today. Smartly dressed and showing considerable poise, 31-year-old Kara Haring walked into the dock having slipped past reporters outside who'd failed to recognise her. The hearing lasted just two minutes, during which she said not a word. Haring faces eight charges of money laundering, the sums of money in the hundreds of thousands. She's also accused of theft, nearly seven million dollars. I'm going to be speaking on behalf of Kara. She denies any involvement in those offences and it's her intention to plead not guilty and fight those charges in due course. Haring is jointly charged with her ex-partner Leo Gao. They used to run this Rotorua gas station, but two years ago their lives changed dramatically when a $10 million overdraft facility was mistakenly loaded onto Leo Gao's Westpac bank account. Police allege the pair transferred six million of it into Chinese accounts before fleeing to Hong Kong. Later that year, Gao gambled away large sums of it in Macau. The following year, Haring left Hong Kong for mainland China. Then a fortnight ago, she voluntarily returned, minus her daughter Lena, who left New Zealand with her. No one is saying where Lena is, nor why Kara Haring has chosen to return now. And it's not appropriate for me or her to comment any further about the evidence or any details uh, about the case. Can I ask you just one question unrelated to the case? How are you feeling at the moment, Cara? Um, good to be back in New Zealand, yeah. Police suspect Leo Gao is hiding in China and are trying to track him down. Until they do, she faces the nine joint charges alone. Haring has been remanded on bail and will reappear in court in two weeks' time. Jessie Peach, 3 News.